क्वेश्चन नंबर 82 सेज द करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट फॉर द मॉलिक्यूल सी एस आई थ्री इज फोर ऑप्शन आर गिवन ऑप्शन वन सेज इट कंटेन्स सी एस प्लस आई माइनस एंड लेटिस आई टू मॉलिक्यूल ऑप्शन टू सेज इट इज ए कोवेलेंट मॉलिक्यूल ऑप्शन थ्री सेज इट कंटेन्स सी एस प्लस एंड आई थ्री माइनस आइंस ऑप्शन फोर सेज इट कंटेन्स सी एस थ्री प्लस एंड आई माइनस आइंस सिंस हेलोजेंस फॉर्म इंटरहेलोजन कंपाउंड आई माइनस रिएक्ट विद आयोडीन टू गिव आई थ्री माइनस सो सी एस आई थ्री इज आइनिक कंपाउंड इट आयोनाइजेस टू गिव सी एस प्लस एंड आई थ्री माइनस so these are the ionic species obtained from csi3 the correct answer is option 3 this is the correct answer now we move on to the next question that is question number 83 question number 83 says for the reaction so2 gas plus half o2 gas in equilibrium with so3 gas if kp is equal to kc into rt raised to the power x where symbols have usual meaning then the value of x is assuming ideality four options are given now for the given reaction the kp is related to kc as kp is related to kc into rt raised to the power delta ng for the given reaction delta ng is equal to 1 minus 1 plus 1 by 2 that is minus half in the given expression x is equal to delta ng that is minus half so the correct option for the given question is option 3 this is the correct answer now we move on to the next question that is question number 84 question number 84 says for the non stoichiometric reaction 2a plus b gives c plus d the following kinetic data were obtained in three separate experiments all at 298 kelvin this is the data given and the four options are given for the rate law for the formation of c suppose the order of reaction with respect to a is x and order of reaction with respect to b is y now we can write the rate law expression the data for the three separate experiments given to us can be used and their values are, are substituted in the given expression for the first experiment let us say r1 is the initial rate 
when the initial concentration of A is 0 0.1 and the initial concentration of B is 0 0.1 let's call it equation 1 for the second experiment initial rate let us represent it by R2 Initial concentration of A is 0 0.1 Initial concentration of B is 0 0.2 And similarly for the third experiment R3 is given by 0 0.2 raised to the power x into 0 0.1 raised to the power y now if we divide R1 by R3 the y term gets cancelled. The values of R1 and R3 are given to us. That is 1.2 into 10 raised power minus 3 divided by 2.4 into 10 raised power minus 3. This will be 1 by 2 raised to the power x. So if we simplify, the left hand side we get 1 by 2. So this will give the value of x equal to 1. If we divide R1 by R2, the initial rates are same. On the right hand side, the x term gets cancelled and we are left with 1 by 2 raised to the power y. So since the left hand side has 1, so y must be equal to 0. It means the order of reaction is 1 with respect to A and 0 with respect to B. The correct rate law expression will be the rate constant into concentration of the reactant A raised to the power 1. It is first order with respect to A and zero order with respect to B. Of the four options given, option 1 is the correct answer. Now we move on to the next question, that is question number 85.